Are you planning a trip to Barcelona? This is how you can visit the top museums for free. Let's go. My hair is an absolute fluffball. I'm sweating right now. Okay, before we get stuck into it, let's roll it out with some life updates. Mm. This is my third week straight of getting up every day at 6 a.m. and I'm on fire! Oh my god, yes, it was a hike up here. I haven't been up to this castle in two years, maybe, and I was absolutely drenched in sweat. I'm gonna put the photo right here. <laughs> uh, it was intense as. It's actually taken two hours for my hair to dry, so what else? Oh yeah, I'm going to spinning right now, so I'm ready to cycle my ass off. A few moments later. When I first arrived in Barcelona five years ago, I was surprised to find out that you can actually visit the state-run museums for free. Depending on the museum, the time of day, and the day of the week, the cost can be higher or lower. In this guide, we're going to cover some of the top museums like the Picasso Museum, National Contemporary Museum of Barcelona, Barcelona, the Music Museum, Design Museum, Balaguel, and 10 or 20 more. So let's find out what museums are free on Sundays in Barcelona. Go! Let's do this. Number one, City History Museum. If you're a history buff or someone that's interested in Barcelona's past, this museum is a must-see. This is the spot where you can experience the ancient Roman city firsthand. Boasting more than 2,000 years of history, you can meander through over 4,000 square meters of homes and streets. So if you want to take a step back in time, this is it. Definitely don't miss Salo de Tinel. This museum is free to enter on the first Sunday of every month and after 3 p.m. every other Sunday. Number two, Natural History Museum. The Museum of Natural Sciences is located in the Forum Building, which is an architectural landmark designed by Swiss architects. They have a permanent exhibition called Planet Life that represents the dynamic relationship between man and Earth with interactive screens, stuffed animals, projected videos and fossils and everything else in between. This really is a diverse and dynamic space that's sure to entice every type of traveler. You can visit this museum for free every Sunday after 3 p.m. or on the first Sunday of every month. Number three, the Botanical Gardens of Barcelona. B -b -b Botanical. B -b -b Botanical. Covering a 14 hectare oasis, this really is a nature lover's paradise. This is a great way to get away from the hustle and bustle of city life. With habitats from Chile, the Americas, and even my country, Australia, you'll find a diverse range of species. Definitely don't miss the historical... <laughs> the stunt, oh my gosh. <laughs> Definitely don't miss the historical botanical garden. And because it's located right in Montjuic, you can also combine it with the National Museum of Catalonia. This museum is free to visit every Sunday after 3 p.m. or on on the first Sunday of every month. Number four, Frederick Mares Museum. This one is definitely for the curious. This collection is truly eclectic. You'll find everything from sculptures and paintings to Art Nouvelle jewelry. I don't know how to pronounce that. After five years of living here, I still don't know how to pronounce Art Nouvelle, 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 Nouvelle. Gosh. This museum is free to visit every Sunday after 3 p.m. or on the first Sunday of every month. Number five, Elborn Cultural and Memorial Center. Brought in with iron and glass structures, this spot really is easy on the eyes. This gem was originally a food market until an archaeological dig was done and they discovered an entire world beneath the surface. Don't miss the cannonballs on display which were recovered from the excavation of the neighborhood. This museum is free to visit on the first Sunday of every month or every other Sunday after 3 p.m. We are flying through this list. Number six, Ethnological and Cultures of the World Museum. This museum is split into two different locations. The Ethnological Museum boasts lots of cool artwork on Catalan origins. If you're interested in taking a deep dive on the region this is definitely the spot and then the world cultures museum takes a more profound look into the cultures and influences in the international world you'll find everything from music and recipes to language and art this museum is free to visit every sunday after 3 p.m or on the first sunday of every month number seven the music museum spanish
learning more than 2,000 instruments, it's easy to pick out your favorites. They also run interesting workshops and concerts too. So if you're looking to mix up your sightseeing, this could be a great option for you. This museum is free to visit every Thursday after 6 p.m., every Sunday after 3 p.m., and the first Sunday of the month. Number eight, the Center of Contemporary Culture of Barcelona, also known as El Centro de S me. Sometimes when I speak Spanish, I don't even know I'm speaking Spanish. This museum is nothing short of cutting edge and contemporary, and it's even located right behind Macba, which is a famous local spot among skaters and bikers in Barcelona. If you're into those skate park vibes and soaking up that local grungy atmosphere, this is definitely a must see. This museum is free to visit every Sunday after 3 p.m. Number eight, the Maritime Museum. This ancient spot was once Barcelona's royal shipyard. If you're interested in gothic architecture and Barcelona's naval history, this is a top spot to hang out in. Whoa, that bird is so loud over there. And the impressive vaulted ceiling and vast chamber make it worth visiting alone. This really is the ultimate dive into the city's maritime history. This museum is free to visit every Sunday after 3 p.m. Number nine, the Design Museum. Boasting a boxy foxy shape, <laughs> This gem is located in the modern district of Glorias. This building is definitely an interesting contrast compared to the ancient ruins and modernist architecture in the inner city. If you're looking for a contemporary cutting edge type of space, this is definitely where you'll find it. The Design Museum is home to a fascinating collection of both temporary and permanent exhibits. With old furniture, glassware, ceramics and decorative arts, you'll find everything from the third century up until modern day. If you're interested in fashion, the textile section is definitely a must see. You can find a fascinating fusion of royal robe, designer evening gear, bedazzled, bedazzled, schmazzled, wazzled, you get the point, fancy, fancy wear. This museum is free to visit every Sunday after 3 p.m. or on the first Sunday of every month. Number nine, this one is a personal favorite for me. I've been many times and I will be back again. This is definitely a highlight. I think if you're... I think if you only have time to see one museum in Barcelona, definitely make it this one. Catalonia National Art Museum, also known as EMNA. This gem is located inside Palau Nacional, which is in the Montjuic region. This stunning building was designed in 1929 for the Barcelona International Exhibition. Etched with an extensive collection of Gothic and Romanesque architecture, this is easily one of the largest museums in Spain, and it overlooks Plaza Catalunya. If you choose to visit this gem, set aside an entire afternoon to dabble in the delights. La la la, there's even a restaurant on top where you can catch stunning views. This museum is free to visit on the first Sunday of the month between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. and Saturdays after 3 p.m. Number 10, Picasso Museum, another one of my favorites. El Museo Picasso is located in the Bourne neighborhood and has a whopping 4,000 works of art by Picasso. It was originally open to the public in 1963 and it's basically dedicated to him, his work, and his life. If you're interested in seeing how he developed as a painter, this is definitely the spot to do it. The location is pretty epic especially if you visit in the evening it's situated inside five medieval adjoining palaces this museum is free to visit on the first sunday of every month and thursdays from 4 p.m until 7 p.m number 11 palau well another one of my favorites this one is in my neighborhood and it's right around the corner so i love heading back here time and time again obviously barcelona is known for gaudi most people choose to go to la sagrada familia or parquel this one is definitely one of my favorites. Palau Güell is actually one of his earliest, most important contributions to the city, and it's located just off Las Ramblas. Housed with unique chimneys, colorful terraces, and that classic Gaudi touch, this is definitely a cool spot. This museum is free to visit on the first Sunday of every month, but like the Picasso Museum, pre-booking your ticket is mandatory. Number 12, the Monastery of Santa Maria de Pedralbes. This Gothic monastery was founded in 1326 and declared a national monument back in 1991. If you're looking to get off the beaten track, this gem is often overlooked by tourists. You can explore the life of the St. Clair nuns who resided here up until recently. Discover the church, dormitories, kitchens, storerooms, and myriad of other finds. This museum is free to visit on the first Sunday of every month. Number 13, Catalonia's History Museum. If you're a history enthusiast, this is another top find. This museum offers a deep dive into Catalonia's fascinating past. You can wander astray from the prehistoric roots, from the Roman Empire, Empire, all the way until the Spanish Civil War. Hosting everything from 
armor to interactive exhibitions. There's even a rooftop bar too. This museum is free to visit on the first Sunday of every month from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Day number 14. I cannot pronounce this properly. Sorry, everybody. Pavilion Mies van der Roche. What language is that? Van der Roche? Van der Rohe? Van der Rohe? This was originally built as the German pavilion for the Barcelona International Exhibition in 1929. If you like modern architecture, this is definitely a cool spot. Whether you want to hang out by the outdoor pond or float around the museum, this is definitely one of the most unique ones in the city. This museum is free to visit on the first Sunday of every month from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. in March and October and from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. from November to February. Number 15, the Contemporary Art Museum, also known as MACBA. Uh, as I already mentioned, this is definitely a famous hangout spot for the skater and biker crew here in Barcelona. This spot is filled with people day in and day out and the museum offers a contemporary take on modern life. In this museum, you'll find more than 5,000 works of modern and contemporary art dating from the 1940s onwards. Number 16, <laughs> sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. La Virreina, La Vir... Riba, Riba, Riba. So this is an 18th century Baroque palace that is nowadays a cultural center. It's crowned with contemporary exhibitions that are free to visit every single day. Oh yeah! Considering this museum is always free, it's a top option for budget travelers and backpackers. Number 17, the Santa Monica Art Center. This museum is always free to visit. Number 18, the Photography Archive. Archive? Archive? Whoa, <laughs> what even is an archive? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's archive. Located right next to the Chocolate Museum. Shout out to all my chocoholics out there. Oh, sweet until I die. Sweet until I die. Rock on. Yeah. Whoa, back to the point. Sorry. This gallery is graced with a world of great exhibitions, focusing on photography and the history of Barcelona, teeming with more than 3 million photographs. This is definitely a photo lover's paradise. This museum is always free. Yeah. If you're traveling to Barcelona, these are some tried and tested tips to help you make the most of your visit to the free museums. Number one, be aware that many of the state-owned museums close on Mondays. This could offer the perfect opportunity to explore outwards of the city. You could visit destinations like Sitges, Garraf or Montserrat on a Monday when the museums are closed. Number two, book online and in advance. Oh my gosh. If you rock up to a popular museum like Palauguel and you don't pre-register, you might miss out. If you're under the age of 16 or over the age of 16, you might be able to score free entry. There's no harm in asking, so give it a go. If the aforementioned free museum days don't float your boat or don't fit into your itinerary, there's no need to fret. You can save money and see more for less with the Barcelona Museum Pass called Art Ticket Barcelona. With this budget-friendly pass, you can enjoy skip-the-line entrance to the following museums. Picasso Museum, MNAC, MACBA, CCCB, Miro Foundation, and Tapias Foundation. Tapias? Tapas? <laughs> Tapas Foundation. Imagine if there was a foundation for tapas. Uh, number five, the Barcelona card. If you're visiting Barcelona for three to five days, this card is easily the best option on the market. Number six, May 18th is International Museums Day. And on the closest Saturday to that date, you'll also have the Night of Museum, which is in my opinion, one of the coolest things to do at night in Barcelona. And number seven, some of these museums are actually even free on special celebrations, like St. Jody's Day on April 23rd and La Merced in September. So as you've just seen, there are plenty of museums that you can visit for free in Barcelona. I've lived here for five years and I still haven't even checked off every single one on this entire list. If you're planning a trip to Barcelona, make sure you like and subscribe because we're rolling out new content in the city every single week. Thank you. If you're looking to, if you're looking to get off the, if you're letting, oh my gosh. If you're looking, if you're looking to get back, oh. oh my gosh.